It's so great to be here in Philadelphia with these amazing servicemen. We have the Philadelphia Tuskegee Airmen President and we have Dr. Richardson with us, mm -hmm. Eugene Richardson. It's so good to see both of you here today. I haven't seen you. you guys in a while. So it's wonderful to have you here at Hands Across Philadelphia and the Hope Alliance Historic So Union. great to be with you. Okay. So we have the great, great grandson of Frederick Douglass here who is so excited and happy to be in you guys' presence mm -hmm. uh, to work with you. So we wanted to ask you guys a little bit about uh, some of the things you've been working on and the things that you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Eugene. Well, I started, I went into flight since I was about five, five or six years old. And all through my young years, I was interested in airplanes, making airplanes, and uh, reading about how to fly, learning how to fly. And in the course of the war, I was able to uh, take qualifying test with, you know, fly, uh, on path to go to flight school. Instead of being drafted when you were 18, I was, I was on track to go to, go to the Air, Air Corps for, for flight school. Wonderful. So we're just so happy and honored to have you here. Um, Melvin, you want to tell us a little bit about the Philadelphia Tuskegee Airmen and why it's so important today, and we're so glad to have you here on this special day. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us here. Um, the Greater Philadelphia Chapter Tuskegee Airmen does a number of wonderful things to fulfill the mission that Tuskegee Airmen has put in place. Um, there's three major things that we focus on. The number one is to sustain the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, one of the things that Dr. Richardson is one of our major spokespersons to do that. The other thing that we do is we provide STEM programming for young people. Um, right now this year we've introduced drone training for young people because that's one of the hot topics that's going on. We also have flight experiences for young people um, from seven to 18 years old where they can actually go and fly with a pilot to understand what it's like to be a pilot or fly. Mm -hmm. um, we support also the areas with scholarships. So we have two forms of scholarships. Our National Tuskegee Airmen Organization provides about $40,000 worth of scholarships every year for people throughout the country. But we've instituted local scholarships to honor each of the different disciplines from Tuskegee Airmen and Women from Philadelphia. We have a scholarship that honors Dr. Richardson for his education on history. We have a scholarship that honors medical personnel. Um, one of our Tuskegee women, Miss Alma Bailey, is still living. She was a nurse, cadet nurse. We have an aviation scholarship that honors all of the pilots from the Philadelphia area, both bomber and fighter pilots. We have a scholarship that honors the mechanical personnel, the maintenance personnel, so we do that. And we have finally have a scholarship that honors the administration personnel. So of the five living persons from our scholarship, we have an administration, an operations person, medical person, fighter pilot and Dr. Richardson, and we give the last scholarship is that one that we give to Delaware State University. Um, we support a student in their aviation program. That's in Roscoe Draper Leadership Scholarship. Um, that is done in the tune of $3,500 to that student. Wonderful. We're just so happy to have you here in Philadelphia for this historic evening. Thank and of you. course, we're just so happy to continue to support the Tuskegee Airmen in Philadelphia and all of your work. And Hands Across Philadelphia is happy to be working with you with your drone program and getting the word out. And the future of work is so important. So our youth need to be educated about the use of drones and drone technology as far as the jobs that are coming in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so talking about the drones, we need to make sure that all of our youth are well aware and understand about drone technology, as well as to shoot for getting licensed to sh fly drones. Drones are going to be a major part of the military, as well as the commercial fields. Um, people that are inspectors for buildings and things, they don't climb up on ladders or all that anymore. They fly drones. Um, the, the movie industry, many, many industries are using drones. So our young people have an opportunity to become on the cutting edge. This is just so much information. We're going to get ready to go to our historic dinner tonight, or historic, and we're just so glad to have you here. 
both you and Dr. Richardson and, and Dr. Payne here uh, to talk more about this. We're going to get to dinner, so we're, we're just so happy to have you here as our special guest Thank here you. at the Historic Evening in Philadelphia with Hands Across Thank Philadelphia you. and the Hope Alliance. So we're going to get to get you guys something Great. to eat. And Hands then we'll come back. Yes. yes. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Thanks so much, gentlemen.